what to expect when applying for robotics internships in the US as a master's student. Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to apply for robotics internship and what to expect during the interview process. I'll include all of the timings below and without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with where to look for robotics internships. First, LinkedIn and follow any hashtags related to robotics and it's a great resource to find out about all the internships that are happening now. Number two is AngelList. Now compared to LinkedIn, AngelList is a much smaller platform but it's also more popular among startups. That's how I found my internship as well. And given a lot of robotics companies are startups, AngelList is a really good platform to look for them. Third, newsletters. Now there are some robotics specific newsletters such as Robotics Worldwide and also one by RoboHub. Lastly, I also have a robotics newsletter where I put internship and full-time job opportunities both in US and India. I'll put a link here or here. Make sure to check it out. Now what happens after you've applied for your robotics internship? First, you go through resume review. So someone at the company will look at your resume and decide which are the candidates they want to interview further. Now, when it comes to robotics internships or full-time position, especially software robotics engineering positions, you should expect a coding challenge. Now, this could be in two formats. One is you're giving a coding challenge similar to what you would see in lead code or hacker rank. And second is a take-home coding challenge. Now, both of this are testing for different things and thus require a different approach. When it comes to lead code style coding challenge, you're expected to solve the question really fast and have a good solution as well. And you should also be able to solve for all the test cases. So think about corner cases. It does require you have a good knowledge of data structure and algorithm. In comparison with the take home coding challenge, you'll be test on your algorithm knowledge specific to robotics, as well as how you write a code. So when it comes to algorithm, for example, you could be asked to write a path planning algorithm. So if you know A star, then you can write that algorithm for them. And the second factor is how you write code. This means comments or documentation, test cases, the structure of your code, that is use of functions and classes and much more. I do have a dedicated video where I talk about take home coding challenges. Do check it out. Now, when it comes to hardware or mechanical based robotics position, you might be expected to do a project. They may send you specific parts and you might be required to build something for the given goal. Now, based on your solutions, you might get a call back. Now, when it comes to internship, you can expect a little bit of a smaller interview process. By this, I mean you can expect two to three rounds of interviews. Now, after your coding challenge, you will move on to in-person interviews. Now, these in-person interviews will once again challenge your coding skills as well. This could be more of whiteboard format slash sharing a common Google document or an interactive coding environment. Now, compared to the previous coding challenge, in here, you're solving the question live. And a common mistake that people do is simply solve the question. In an interactive version, you're expected to talk about how you are solving this problem. Talk about assumptions you're making. Talk about your approach. Talk through as you solve the coding challenge. And feel free to ask for help if you're stuck. There's nothing wrong in asking for help. Another great tip is when you're doing these interactive coding challenges, make sure to run through a test case. This is a great way to catch some of the mistakes that you may have made and to show your interviewer that this is how the code is going to work. Now, the next aspect of these interviews will be your knowledge of robotics. Now, depending on the position, they will ask you specific questions for that role. For example, if the position is about computer vision and you're expected to work with a certain kind of camera, they will ask you questions on how that camera works. So make sure to read up on the company as well as the position so that you are better informed to talk about these topics. Another example is let's say you're going for a perception role and the company uses LIDARs. They may ask you, do you know how a LIDAR works? What's the difference between using a 3D LIDAR or a 2D LIDAR? What are some of the advantages and disadvantages? The next set of questions are going to be on your resume. All the coursework and projects that you've mentioned on your resume Expect to know thoroughly everything about it. A good advice when it comes to resume and you've done group projects, 
make sure to talk about your contribution towards that group project in the resume and not what the group achieved because you will be asked questions on everything that is mentioned and if you say this was done by your group partner it doesn't look good and then they will ask you okay what was your contribution so make sure to write about your contribution and know thoroughly everything about your contribution so you can answer those questions lastly you will be asked about your expectations from the role as well as how you see your career in robotics so do take the time to think about this question and prepare ahead of time what are you expecting from the position for example if you're starting out in robotics maybe your goal is to explore or you know what is it that you're looking for within robotics be it path planning machine learning or mechanically based roles so make sure you're clearly communicating that this is the kind of role or project that you're planning to work during your internship now i say this because a lot of times some companies will recruit interns but not have a specific project in mind so don't leave this communication gap and make sure you communicate what are the type of projects you are hoping to work on also similar to any internship you will be asked behavioral questions so make sure to prepare for them as well now another aspect of these interviews is your attitude as well and when it comes to internship they might not expect you to know everything but they do expect that you have an attitude where you are eager to learn and to contribute so make sure to highlight those skills during your interview process i hope you found this video helpful and if you have more questions use the comment section below or send me a message on linkedin and before you go make sure to like this video and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video